Mark from Coach Canada. Then we're going to take questions for the players first. Um, and after we excuse the players, we'll have questions for the program. Great credit to Temple. Tremendous job by them coming in ready to play. A lot of credit to Jeff for what he did. I really appreciate that. They had 79 on their helmets. I thought that was just a really classy move by them. And uh, we're very appreciative of that. And so it shows what a, what a great first class operation they've got going. And but great credit to their football team for winning today. Um, I didn't do a good enough job. This guy's falls on me flat out. We didn't do anything on offense today. Um, so I, I take full responsibility for this loss. Uh, we didn't play well enough. So obviously I didn't coach well enough uh, on offense. Obviously defense was on the field a lot. I thought they played really, really hard and, and did a lot of good things. We just continued to get nothing you know, for them. You know, they kept playing. Obviously we got a touchdown here. And, and, and the special teams played really hard and did a great job. We got a pump block. So I'm not sure I've been around a game like this on offense, but it falls directly on me. It's my job. And uh, we didn't get it done. So credit to Temple. They had a great scheme. They had their safeties down really low. And we didn't, uh, we didn't make them pay on our shots over the top. We took some, didn't hit them, and we couldn't get a first down. Uh, we couldn't get it going. So credit the Temple, and uh, everything else falls on me. Coaches left, we have Darnell Savage. And the coaches right, we have Jesse Anabana. Raise your hand, we'll take questions. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. seemed like it, it, there was a lot of similarity to, to the problems you guys have had the last couple of years and inability to get off the field on third down. How much did that contribute to the defensive struggles? Yeah, I mean, as we know, it's, it's a team effort all the way around. And, you know, I mean, we just have to focus on our keys, focus on our responsibilities, and everybody just has to win their one-on-one. -on -one. That's the most important thing. And, you know, we struggle with it in the past and struggle with it today. And, you know, it's, just, it's, it's a learning experience. So. You know, this, this, this is, I look at it as a positive. You know, this is another opportunity to get back next week and get better. Jesse, uh, the uh, Raquel uh, Armstead came into the day averaging almost five yards of carry. He had over you know, 100 today against you guys. What was he able to take advantage of? Uh, what made him such a tough player to continue this afternoon? Um, you know, you got to give credit where credit's due. He's a good player. You know, and we, we, we prepare for him, but clearly not enough. You know, it's just, like I said, it's a learning experience, and, and uh, that, that affected us. And, and you know, it was just something we have to learn from. We have to play better, better team defense, and we have to be better on all, on, on all bases. Play. 
because after this performance, which uh, obviously you weren't looking for, going into Big Ten plays, uh, does that have any impact? Does it uh, let you show that you really need to play hard and well for 60 to win games against tough competition? I think I think they played hard and well. I think they we didn't play well enough. Our kids are playing hard. I'll answer that for them. They played hard. We didn't play good enough on offense, and um, that's on me. But our kids are playing hard. For either of you guys, did you feel like you just having to be on the field as much as you were kind of wore you down a little bit? Do you think that when you evaluate the defense as a whole, it was three or four plays here and there that, that, that kind of did you in more so than any sort of sort of sustained drive or anything that you know, did on a sustained basis? I mean, you got to be on the field for a long time. You know, you, you, you just got to have to hunger down and pick up the reins and just hold on to it for the offense. You know, we're, we're, we're doing everything that we could. The offense is doing everything that he could, you know, and it just came, it just came down to his effort at that point. You know, I mean, it's, it's going to affect you being on the field, but, like, we're not going to fold at all on our faces. So, I mean, that's just, that's just something we just have to keep in mind all day to focus. Take two more from the players. Jared Goldstein, to your left. Uh, Jesse, for you to get that pump block after your whole year last year, kind of get in the end zone, uh, you got the first sack out of the way of the year. How does it feel for you to you know, have that moment? Come back and score like that. Um, I mean, it's a good feeling, obviously, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter to a win. So I mean, that's that's all that I'm really that, that's all I'm really worried about. I'm worried about next week. You know, I mean, I, mean, I can make all the plays that I want, but if we're, if we're, if we're not good enough collectively, you know, it's not going to matter at the end of the day. But you know, I mean, so it's, 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 it's a team game, team effort. Can you comment, uh, Coach, on the variation in the offense? There wasn't as much jet sweep today. Is that something that you came up with, or they took away? They, they, I mean, some of it was they took it away, and some of us we, I mean, we kept going. We were one of twelve on third down, which I know you guys know, and I'm sure you'll talk about. It, but I'm, I'm not ashamed. I am ashamed. But I'm not afraid to talk about it. We were one of twelve on third down. We couldn't get going, so we have a lot of plays we didn't get to. Yeah, because obviously, if every down is third down, you know, if you in the first half, every second down. It seemed like we did something silly, right? We missed an opportunity, or we had a sack, and we lost yardage. So and all of a sudden, you're in third and long. So your your base offense, which we think we've been okay at, we didn't get to see. We have 50, can't read anymore, 52 plays, and a bunch of them were at the end of the game going fast, right? So we that wasn't anywhere close to we 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 didn't run our offense. So uh, we didn't run any of the plays, but that's because they we didn't execute, and that that falls uh, falls on me completely on me. Really bad job by me. Coach, um, when, when you look at the box score and you look at the you know effectiveness of, of the running game, especially you know, with Anthony McFarland, um, and the ineffectiveness of the, of the passing game today, does it make you um, almost you know wish it you had committed to the run a little bit more at times or had stuck with it a little more? Is there any second guessing? I mean, we, I mean, we lost by yeah, I literally my eyes are so bad. We lost by what twenty one points and we threw the ball twenty one times. I mean. If I run the ball the whole time, we're down by that. You probably would ask why you weren't trying to win the game throwing. I appreciate the question. Obviously, we ran it well. We just that wasn't that was that was a it was a really bad offensive football game. I mean, I, it wasn't our offense. It wasn't what we expected. And, and I don't mean defensively, but they did. They played hard. They made plays. We just couldn't get the first down to get going. Obviously, we started going fast there late. And we had some runs, um, but early on we couldn't. We ran side to side. We ran up inside. We tried to throw it. And we just. 
because we couldn't get the first first down. That's our goal. You've got to get the first first down to get your offense going. And that's what we've always done and always talked about. We didn't do it today. So obviously, that's my fault. Just as a follow up to that, what did you see you know, from Anthony today in terms of what he's able to bring to the table? Every, everything we see all the time in practice. We've got really good running backs, and he's, he's got a great, great spark to him. I know he was disappointed because he wanted to win, and uh, he had a couple that almost popped. And we, and we got it uh, we got it to 14, or we got it back to 14 after the block, and we went down the field and we ran the, the spacing right there and had a guy over the middle because he just didn't see him. Obviously, I haven't coached him well enough. You know, to pick a six the other way. If we hit that, we probably would have, you know, gone faster, ran to end. I really believe we'd have scored. If we'd hit the corner, Jay Sean had been a step inside, we'd have scored. And you know, we, we just we were just off. But it's my fault. Coach Jerry McDonough and then Patrick's team. Matt, this is a couple weeks in a row with the team has had struggled get, getting started, getting going. Yep. Is that just an experience? Is that a guy that's, you know, coming off a knee injury and an experience, or is that just, you know? Probably just bad coaching by me. Um, he's got to play better sooner. we got to start faster. Obviously, we all saw that last week. Then you go back two weeks ago, we started really fast, right? We went down the field and scored. So I, I don't have an answer. I'm not being, I, don't know, I don't know why it's occurring, but it certainly occurred today. But it wasn't, it was all over the place today. Bad, bad offense. Matt, did you have any sense or any indicators during the week that this might be kind of a, a, a flat showing, or does this kind of surprise you? No, our kids play hard all the time. You know, I was, I think I said it before, I mean, I worry about everything. So now you're always worried about how you're going to play. You never know how you're going to play, and you want to play good. Um, so we just didn't, you know, again, we, I think, again, you look at defensively, we, 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 we played well. They were on the field for 36 minutes. I don't think I've ever, <laughs> yeah, this is, I did a bad job as the offensive coordinator today. There's no way in the world our defense going to field this much. So that's the bottom line. That's the story. So, uh, Anthony Russo was named starter for Temple. 30 minutes before the game, Frank McTowell's a game time decision. So going into the game and you see Anthony Russo come out uh, for the Temple offense, did that really change anything for your defensive game plan? Did that throw anything off? I don't think so. I think our guys did a great job of, of preparing for it. You know, they were prepared for whatever might come. We obviously we prepare for it. We mentioned the two tackles. We all prepare for every situation that might occur. And again, I think if we would have done a better job on offense, our defense wouldn't have been on the field as much. I mean, our defense was Six to seventeen on third down. I mean, that's not. It's not like they. That's not horrible. I mean, they just they slowed the game down late. We were one of twelve, so it all comes back to me. Uh, Coach Cannon, Phil uh, Jones, the SB Nation Radio. A couple of times when I was watching the scene, you know, it seemed like he was holding on to the ball a little bit longer than what he normally did from the first week to the second week. Possibly, you know, I don't want. I don't want to speak to that until I watch the film. I, we just weren't clicking. And again, I take the blame for that. There was. There has to be a reason. There has to be a reason. So I, I. I don't know what it was. You know, we did. Like I said, the second. The second play of the game, we had a false start. Um, but then we, we backed up. We took a shot. And we had a guy. We were open. We're going down the field on post, and he's behind him, and we underthrow it. Um, so those are those are the plays. You know, to the question earlier, the third and nine run, that was a there, there are always plays in a game. I mean, in my mind, if we hit that and it's a touchdown in seven to nothing, it's a different feel, right? This is a game made of momentum. Uh, it's a game made of, of, of making plays, and, and we didn't make enough plays. Um, so Kasim didn't get in their rhythm. Um, you know, you, you, we can, I, I definitely will look at everything, and you know, maybe we should have done something different. We tried short with long, we tried them all, and it just didn't work. So again, credit to, credit to them. Credit to their coaches, credit to their players, and, but ultimately I've got to do a better job, and, and uh, I will. I don't have any doubt about our players. I'm so proud of our players, how hard they work, how much they stick together. The locker room was uh, united. The locker room was, hey, we're going to stick together. Those two kids just talked. Obviously, they're frustrated. They're out there. They know. And uh, nobody's pointing any fingers. We're pulling the thumb, starting with this one. And it starts with me, and I've got to do a better job. They're, you know, two tackles are out, and this and that. There's no excuses. It's big boy football. We didn't play well enough, and uh, we'll play better next week. To add on to that real quick, do you think you can possibly get Sean Jones started off early in the offense next week against Minnesota? 
you know, sometimes you can do that. Again, it's, they, they did a nice job pressing up on it. You know, they, they, they were, they were, that defense can take away anybody or whatever they want to take away. And um, so you know, to the point about the jet sweeps and those things, we just didn't get into a flow on offense. So I respect your question, and it's probably right. Everything we did was bad. And I called every play, uh, so I should have called a whole bunch of different ones because they didn't work. So ultimately, that's it. I did a bad job. Thanks, Sergeant.